We are talking everything travel. Airports, as we know, are extremely busy this time of year. Houston Life's Melanie Camp went behind the scenes at Bush Airport for an exclusive look at how United moves people, bags, and planes during the holiday season. And I know you have yeah. some tips for us this morning. I do. It was super fun. I'm a little bit, I call myself a plane nerd. Yeah, but it's like it is. It's fascinating to see. A few years ago, uh, when I first got here, I did a behind the scenes with United, and, uh, specifically about luggage, bags. What Ooh. happens from the moment, when, when you check your bag in, yeah. you put it, you give it to the attendant, they yeah. put it on that belt, and it go, it travels something like, what, six miles or some well, ridiculous? actually, now it's eight because they've just upgraded everything. Oh, my goodness. They so have it's a even whole, longer. So when yeah. you went, it was probably the old system. Yeah. They have a new one now. And wow. that was one thing that we got to have a really cool look at. Yeah. Um, and that was fascinating because they scan they scan those bags yeah. all the way through. It's it's so cool. And then the, the conveyor belts move and it's it's constantly right here. Like you're looking at this, yes. right? Yep, yep. It is that. so awesome to see. I love this stuff as well. Those. See, I, what I love is I went a few days ago and you can see there wasn't a lot of bags. Right. And that's, they're expecting like 60,000 bags in, in, Isn't in that a day something? coming through. This was a cool thing that we're looking at here. This is um, the, the people that get you from the gate to the runway and then get you from the runway back to the gate and move you through the gate. Oh, you know, move okay. Move the planes through the gate. So they're going to be super busy. And um, that's bag drop. Yes. Which um, to back to to carry on or to I mean it's tough this it time is. of year you're bringing you're probably going to visit friends and family and in cold places mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. so you need your jacket and you need your those boots. layers yeah. so all of a sudden like I would not I'm not I'm not a carry on girl yeah I'm I really not. usually am carry a carry on, on guy yeah <laughs> right <laughs> I uh, I do but now you know a lot of these airlines including United depending on what you buy they're going to charge you for that too. Yeah. It, 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 it's tricky. So, I mean, I, I like the idea of a carry-on because it's quick. But, uh, yeah, like you're saying, you know, if you're going north and you're going yeah. skiing, you're going to need those. I like being able to just dump a bag and forget about it until the end. Go have a drink. Yeah, yeah. And not have to, there's always that stress when you're boarding the plane and you're carry-on and you're like, am I even going to get my yeah, bag what, on? What, what about, you know, when, I, when they sent me to Poland to cover the war or one year later, they lost my luggage. And we were in Poland. So I was on vacation in Mexico. I had to pack two bags. Oh, no. I packed for vacation, had to bring my luggage for Poland with me. Yeah. We fly to Eastern Europe. We get there. Thank goodness I put a winter jacket in my carry-on. Had I not, yeah. February, it was freezing. I suppose you can Poland. always wear your jacket on the plane. But you don't, you, do you ever stress jacket. about that, them losing, losing your luggage? Losing luggage. Only one time I had to go to a wedding for a friend, and it, and, it, and it was a friend's wedding, and I was sort of arriving the day before. So I packed my dress and shoes in carry-on. So you got lucky. I know. Yeah, I was fine. And, and then I did pack. I thought, I don't need a bag, but then I realized I wanted to bring a bottle of champagne, and you can't, you can't carry, carry on champagne. On. Unless so, you um, bought it on the other side. Yeah, so I just had a bag with... Uh, a jacket that I patted out the champagne with and I checked. <laughs> I should have just bought champagne. She drank it on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, but it was fine. I mean, I think I've only lost bags once and they got to me really quickly. Yeah. So oh, I've just jinxed myself, haven't I? I know. <laughs> they, they are really good. You know what I do now when I travel is I put an air tag in, in That's the a luggage. Good thing. Yeah. Well, and you know what I discovered in my behind the scenes exclusive look at the new baggage conveyor belts? Um, with the United app, if you download the United app, which if you are flying United this year, I would say absolutely get that app. You can track your bags. It's a separate app, or is it within the United app? It's within the United okay. app. So, and there's a lot of good stuff you can do. Like you can you can actually talk to an agent. Oh wow! Uh, they've got like three thousand live agents, That's so you amazing. can like text cool. with them. So yeah, it's it's really good because one thing. I mean, Caroline just said the weather's looking pretty good mm -hmm. here. But, here. Yeah, here. But if you do, and it's not too. Oh, I feel like <laughs> if I say everything's fine, you're not going to lose your bags. <laughs> But, but yeah, I mean, once one plane gets kind of rerouted, that can mm -hmm. upset it's a domino all, the other, yeah. all the other flights. So it could be great where you're flying from and flying to, but if you're getting a plane that's coming from somewhere where it got delayed. Let me ask you about this uh, new thing. Oh, I, I say it's new. I think it's new uh, that United rolled out. It's that drop bag area. Can yes. we talk about that, or is this part of your piece? Well, it's part of the piece, but you know what? You get it. We're here. Right, first. we're here. Don't, yes. shh, don't tell me. You, <laughs> you get it first. But you know, you get to actually see it happening. Yes, yes. If you watch it on yes. Houston Life. 
But yes, bag drop. Yes. They've got several places that you can drop bags. And I spoke with Tim, there's us going into the airport, but I had a little chat. Um, I had a little bit more of an in-depth chat with Tim, but I uh, had a little chat with him to find out, you know, what to do with the bag drop. I think we have it. You can go ahead and use the bag drop shortcut at the airport and save time. At 18 different locations at United, we have bag drop shortcuts, not only in this airport, but other ones system wide. So, yeah. Yeah. It's very handy. And th this is to speed up that process yep. of going through, through checking in. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is there's likely going to be a line mm -hmm. to drop your bags. Mm -hmm. But you can do it outside, you can do it upstairs inside, mm -hmm. and then here's a, a bit of an insider tip. You can go to arrivals, mm -hmm. and there's a bag drop at arrivals for people who are departing. It's a little more difficult yeah. if you have accessibility issues because you know you've yeah. got to start downstairs, you've got to walking. get upstairs. Yeah. But if you're sort of agile, you don't mind, you know, it might be good to get someone to drop you off at arrivals, yeah. dump your bag at the bag drop downstairs, and then move on up and go through security. This also it's applies to good folks. Tip, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the same goes for if you're flying out of C or E, and if you see that those areas are really congested, walk over to B or A, go in through security that way, and then take the tram on the other side to your your terminal, your gate. And you know what? I'm a big fan, and I almost don't want to say this because I feel like it's my secret. Clear. I'm oh, a clear. big fan of clear. So I had clear. I got rid of clear because oh. I have pre-check. I also okay. have global entry. Oh yeah, I have, I have it all. Yes, you have it all. But yeah. so you, but why are you pay, paying for? Cl uh, oh, we probably no. should have this conversation. You, off why? So maybe yeah, <laughs> financial advice here. Yeah, right. um, no, but actually, here's the cool thing: if you certain credit cards will give you yes. clear, that, well, and and TSA and, and TSA precheck and global entry. So yeah. yes, all the deals. Uh, just check with deals. your with your cards. Otherwise. Tim did say this year, last year they said get to the airport two hours before. This year, yes. Tim's saying three hours. Yes, three hours. Factor in oh, that construction, yeah. three hours for sure. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We do appreciate it. Remember, you can watch Life. Houston Life today at one for that exclusive story. Check it out.